I cannot believe what I'm going to show you today. <laughs> this is what I got today. I cannot wait to show you how I use this. It's a mini hip press. Uh, it is from of Noah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not. And they sent me this mini hip press. So I cannot wait to use this and show you how I use it. And uh, let's see. So let's open this first. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, like this video if you like my mini hip press. So they also sent me this uh, this already printed vinyl. So I am going to try using that first before I use my uh, vinyls. I'll show you that later. But there is this little instruction how to use that. And there is this bag also to put my mini hip press. I don't just keep saying that. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, take this out. And look how pretty colored this is. I, to be honest, love these colors. I'm always a teal person. I always like the teal. So this is super mini. I, and it's not that heavy, actually. It's, I thought it's going to be heavy, but it's not too heavy. And there is also this one right here is... Um, to put your iron on like that so like this yeah all right so what i'm gonna do is plug this and i'm gonna show you how to use the setting so i'm gonna use one of these today and uh, i'll show you that later but let's plug this in first all right so i plugged that and now let me show you how to use this. So there is this on button. So I'm just going to click on that button on the top. And it's going to turn on. And you can adjust the temperature. If it's a regular vinyl, you can use a less temperature. If it's kind of a glittery and thick vinyl, you can use a little higher temperature. So I'm going to use 355 temperature for the vinyl I'm using. And I'm going to wait for it to beep like three times. That means it's ready. All right, so let's open this one right here. So again, this one have so many designs. I was kind of a little confused which one I should use. Uh, but I used the one that I didn't expect that I'm going to use. <laughs> so my husband also is like jumping around like i want to use this i want to use this don't use this <laughs> but uh, he really wanted to use this lion one uh so this is cute i love this one i should have used this one too i also like this one uh there are like so many cute designs i really i am definitely gonna use all of these on my other t-shirts but uh yeah these are all the design that they sent me and I believe it also comes uh, in the in the whole kit. So if you want to purchase this, I'm going to put the link down below. And they also have some sales going on right now. So I'm going to use my this t-shirt. It's from Michael. I bought it from Michael. And I'm going to see what vinyl I'm going to use on this t-shirt. So um, we're going to try a couple different... Uh, vinyls today one is that they sent us i really wanted to use this one um but i want to keep that one for my niece because i i i'm sure she's gonna like it all right so my mini heat press beep three times that means it's ready to use so now i decided to go with the pineapple design all right so i'm gonna take my mini heat press and I'm going to go over the area I want to apply my vinyl just so that there is no wrinkles or anything. All right, so again, the temperature is 355 and I think I'm ready to add my pineapple here. So I like to leave about like three inches from the top and I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to add this. And I'm just going to place it just right here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not too worried about this t-shirt. So I just want to see how it looks like. So what I'm doing is going 
with that mini heat press on top of this uh, vinyl but you can also like add a one more layer of a cloth on top of this vinyl and then go over with the mini heat press but uh, yeah all i'm doing is going over here just maybe um, something like this moving my hand and i'm just gonna let this dry for a couple seconds and i cannot wait to pull this thing off and it just comes so easily and oh my god okay i'm gonna use all of these vinyls for sure on like on a random t-shirt i guess so yeah i really really like this okay so now my plan is to use the vinyl that i already have and uh, i'll show you how i cut and use that vinyl so let's start for that i'm using my this vinyl here and i'm gonna put it on my cricut mat and i'll show you what design i use i know i'm not gonna show the design how i make it but um you can do this with any design you like to be honest but uh, i'm also gonna put down the link below of this vinyl if you are interested so i'm gonna cut the size i want all right so after i cut this i'm gonna place my vinyl like this so the shiny part down and this is how i'm gonna just stick it like that and i'm also like to use the tape and just stick it on the corners and the area that you think it's gonna peel off so here is the setting i like to use so this is the design i'm gonna add and make sure it's mirror and i'm gonna use this vinyl setting and let's load this mat and see the magic That was so quick it took about like five minutes not really okay so now let's uh, peel the back of this vinyl off so what i like to do is just remove the whole vinyl from the mat make sure you put the plastic thingy back on that mat <laughs> okay and now what i like to do is save some vinyl save some vinyl for the next project so i'm just gonna cut the extra which i can use for my some smaller project i guess which never happens <laughs> okay so i'm gonna cut that extra vinyl and then i'm just gonna peel the back like that and leave the letters there so yeah all right so i have another surprise for you guys i am i don't think so i can tell you right now but uh, you just have to wait for my um the next video and i'm gonna use something that i never used before so i'll show you when i make that video but i am very excited okay so i'm done with both of this vinyl now i'm gonna apply it on this t-shirt again this t-shirt i bought it from michael's and i know there's so much wrinkle but no worries i have this mini heat press so i'm just gonna turn this on and put it on high temperature so this t-shirt is for my husband and uh, he really want me to do a design that looks something like this so that's why i thought let's do this today all right so my mini heat press is almost done now i am using this vinyl that i just cut and i'm just gonna leave about like a three inches from the top and trying to put it in the center as i can and another one on the bottom so like this 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna stick it like that. And again, if you want to add another layer of cloth, you can do that. I am not doing it today. So my heat press is ready to use. So I'm just going to go right on top of it. So what I like to do is just uh, go very slow on each letter and just kind of uh, add a little presser and go everywhere. So now let me tell you what this word is. Um, I don't know if you ever watched Friends before, but this means uh, Friends. And uh, my husband wanted this in our language. So that's what I did it for him. I make this design on my Procreate and, um, and then I cut the vinyl, something like this. So yeah. <laughs> So when I was doing this, the edges was just coming off very easily. So I just peeled it very carefully. So the trick is uh, after you apply, I mean, after you uh, are done ironing, just wait maybe a minute before you peel this thing off. Um, and then it will be so much easily just going to come off. So just for the safety i just like to go back on just one more time after after i peel that plastic off so yeah i'm all done uh my husband's gonna wear it and you're gonna see how it looks like so what do you think about my mini heat press i love this and i have a lot of other projects that i want to try and can't wait to share with you guys so Again, here I'm all done with this t-shirt and look how pretty that is. I love this and my husband also loves this. So here he is. He's just acting so weird. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching again. And uh, again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comment and I will see you next time for another video. Alright, so I'm gonna have to stay with this crazy, crazy man. Alright, bye.